Hi guys, um, what we're going to experiment with today is just removing, a, there's a small IC just in the centre of this board. This is a much bigger board, we've got a tuner, there's a huge heat sink over here and lots of metal work to suck the heat out of, uh, out of this. Um, the idea is just to uh, see if we can bring this board up to a preheat temperature of around 120, 130, something like that and, uh, and lift this off with um, a little bit of... Uh, hot air if I can get this in the frame yeah there's a little hot air nozzle there which you can't really see um, so yeah that's the idea uh, today I'm just going to give this uh, wipe over with a fibre brush just clean the legs again we've got three thermocouples on there which I've forgotten to turn on the temperature we've got on the two at the back uh, is 12.2, 12.3 and the uh, process value thermocouple is the one at the front and that's saying 11 so it's just a one degree well of course there's no point, there's no decibel point on the uh, the Rec C100 so that could be saying 11.9 for, uh, for all I know so again not going to worry about it I've tried to get the thermocouples laying flatter uh, I don't suppose you heard that, but that's the dog down the gardens running around in the flooded lake that we've got. <laughs> so she's soaking wet. Uh, right, where was I? Um, yeah, so I've cleaned the legs. I'm just going to apply some uh, flux to the pins on both sides. And then we'll fire this up. I'm going to set it to 30 as I did in uh, yesterday's tests. Uh, we're just firing up the the element now. <clears throat> I think from cold we had a what 20, 30 degree um, overshoot. This is probably a bit of an extreme test for this size heater plate. There's so much metal work uh, on this board that it's going to be interesting to see whether it can get up to the uh, what I would like as a, a you know a nice preheat temperature, and then we can just use some hot air just at the top to uh, to lift the IC off. Hopefully, and even the IC looks like it's on a you know next to a great big. Uh, ground plane so yeah should be uh, should be interesting now I'm going to stay I think I'm going to stay zoomed in on this uh, IC the um, process value is now up to uh, that's 29 the lamps just gone out as before I'm sure we're going to get a nice uh, overshoot all the thermocouples are saying pretty much the same temperature now Process value is on 37. These other thermocouples are on 30, uh, 38 and 36. So it's all they're all very close to uh, to each other. What I'll do is I'll let that uh, process value increase up to uh, whatever it's going to go up to, and then I'll just increase the set value to match and let it stabilise at that figure. It's colder today, I've also got the uh, workshop door open. Process value is now 45, thermocouples all saying 40. That seems to have stabilised, uh, so I'm just going to increase that up to 50. The lamp's back on, so the element's back on. Shut the door here. It's uh, daft to let all that uh, cold air in. <clears throat> right, process value is now 46. Thermocouples at the back are saying 44 and 43, so quite quite closely matched. Of course, they're on different parts of the <clears throat> the board. We've got uh, uh, two of them are just over um, tiny print areas and uh, the thermocouple at the back on the left is over a big ground plane 
So it'll be interesting to see how that affects the temperature. Right, light's gone off, we're at 52 on our process value and we're getting 52 and 53 on the back. Uh, thermocouple meters. This is too closely zoomed in. So 55, and I'm just going to zoom down there. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but that's on 58 now. And we're on uh, 54 and 58. So yeah, that's okay. It's uh, more like it today. That's up to 58 process value. In case you're wondering uh, why that appears brighter, I have uh, just lit this today with a strip light and I've, it's got magnets on the back and it is just uh, uh, stuck onto one of my flexible arms. Just thought we might want this a little bit better lit than, uh, than normal. Right, 56 now, so I'm just going to increase the set value up to, I think we'll go for 80. Okay, that's now on 80 and heating. Whilst this is warming up, I just thought I'd ask you guys, what's your feelings on these uh, PS3 and Xbox clamps? The Obviously they're prone to warping and there seems to be a whole range of uh, clamps that clamp onto the PCB before you start the uh, the preheat you know the the rework whatever you're doing um, is the warping you know naturally going to happen or is it because the complete board should really be warmed up to the correct temperature evenly um, it seems a bit odd to clamp something in place because you're doing it badly and making it warp um, those stresses have got to go somewhere, so I'd be interested in anyone's thoughts on the uh, on the clamps for these PCBs. And my feeling is that surely the whole board should be warmed up evenly uh, all over, and then surely warping would you know not occur. But uh, yeah, it'd be nice to be uh, put right on uh, on that one way or the other. So if you've got any thoughts, uh, you know, let me know on the forum or just respond to. Uh, to this post. And whilst we we're uh, talking about you, <laughs> you responding on YouTube, um, one of the guys I uh, uh, have subscribed to um, over the last year or so is uh, FPS Russia. Um, it's a guy out in uh, America who just shows uh, various weapons and what they can do in his own uh, huge farmland, I guess it is. Um, yesterday he posted a video of a uh, rifle in uh, that's you know you assemble yourself out of a, a suitcase uh, and yeah it was all very impressive and the final thing he did was put a round into uh, an old truck that had explosives in it <laughs> obviously it exploded and I don't think we realized how close he was standing because the door flew off and flew straight towards the camera and just missed him to the right hand side by just a matter of inches I think it could have been curtains if that had hit the guy <laughs> and uh, everybody had posted on there saying, you know, for God's sake, <laughs> take more care, hide behind some plexiglass or, or anything. But, you know, it was incredible. So if you get a chance, um, uh, just go to uh, FPS Russia and uh, and have a look at some of his videos. It's uh, it's fascinating if you uh, if you like uh, guns and things like that. I appreciate that's probably not the best topic to be talking about at the moment with all the uh, madness that's gone on in America and other places but uh, yeah have a look FPS Russia right we're uh, we've got the process value up to 81 now um, I think that thermocouple has come off of the board actually yeah it has because the other values are up to the 120 region already yeah, something to watch on these uh, flexible arms, I think. Uh, just make sure the thermocouple is on the board. Um, right, so, yeah, we're up to 120, despite the fact I only set it to 80, and that's purely because the thermocouple was off the 
of the work area. So I'm just going to increase this uh, straight up to um, 120 now because that's pretty much where the temperature's gone. So I might as well see if we can stabilise it at 120. We've got 106 and 112 on the thermocouples and 113 on the wrecks. So uh, yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty much where we want it to be. Just going to see if I can find my tweezers. I think the IC is too small for the socket. Yeah, so I think we're going to have to lift this off carefully with uh, with some tweezers. This is obviously cooling down a bit, um, but now it's uh, the elements on again, so that should warm up. Yeah, it's on its way up again, 110. So I'll let that warm up to uh, around the 120, and uh, we'll just see if we can get some uh, hot air in there and just carefully lift that IC off. I don't like doing things like this live because it can go pear shaped, and we're going to look complete idiots there, where well, I am. But uh, it's nice to see you know, first tries of things. There's no point in showing somebody something after you've done it 50 times and every one's been bad apart from the last that you've just shown them. Okay, 120 process value. Uh, 120 on the I think the left thermocouple 110 on the right hand one. Just looking for warpage on this board. Uh, yeah, probably is a fraction. Hard to tell for sure because there's a lot of metalwork on the back at the ends that are propping this up. Right, I'm just going to fire up this uh, hot air. We're going for maximum temperature and medium air. Oh, it helps if it's turned on. Sorry about the noise here. This also might be a bit tricky to do with... Uh... Oops. Sorry, there goes the light. I have to do, it, do without that. I'm going to fire with those thermocouples out of the way now. I think the legs are just beginning to go. And there we go. So I'm just going to remove the heat and uh, turn this one off. pop those thermocouples back onto there, see what readings we're going to get. Well, we're getting 110 uh, on the left and uh, yeah, much lower than that on the one on the right which is over that ground plane. Just wanted to make sure it didn't go up too high. So no, they're, they're all falling now, so that's absolutely fine. You could, of course, put some uh, cold air onto this now. I think uh, apparently cooling of uh, the work is uh, is approved and recommended. Um, apparently molten solder, if it's cooled quickly, it uh, does not crystalline, uh, well, it doesn't make, it doesn't form crystal uh, uh, crystals in the solder as it cools. Not sure I'm going to worry too much about that test one as it's probably not going back on. This is just a scrap board. So yeah, even with um, the board this size, I'll just zoom out. Maybe you can uh, see a little bit more. Uh, in fact, I'll move the tripod back a bit. There we go. It's a fairly big board. Um, lots of uh, material on there that would, uh, you know, 
heat sink very nicely. But uh, yeah, that came off without too many uh, problems. So yeah, I guess the uh, the next thing to do is uh, well, I'll probably remove some of the uh, the other components on this board, um, perhaps some of the ones on the edge, uh, see how it uh, the board behaves. But yeah, I think that's quite a good result. The I see came off. Um, I'm not going to see that properly. It's not going to focus. There is no ground plane on the back, but there is a little blob of uh, glue on it. But yeah, no uh, no damage. Obviously, you can actually tell when the pins uh, reach reflow because they just take on a slightly more silver uh, complexion and. Uh, if you gently nudge the IC you can actually see it move slightly and then a little bit longer with the heat a little soak and then just yeah, gently uh, gently lift it up so yeah another successful test I think catch you later